So today here on Wolf of Dubai we are talking about the lock up periods in which shareholders are not allowed to sell their share on the markets after the IPO and what it means uh, all explained and we talk about also Uber and uh, Beyond Meat, two actual cases just in the news. So stay tuned and make sure to watch till the end. Wolf of Dubai. So first of all, you are here on Wolf of Dubai. If you are new here, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to smash that subscribe button and also the like button because this is a very, very interesting video and also a very, very interesting um, channel. If you are in the stocks, in the stocks market, investing and also general in finance. So we are talking about the lockup period or lock-in period that uh, is known as the period after the IPO. So let's say a company just announced their IPO, they go onto the market, you know, they are publicly traded and then there is usually depending on the company a period between 90 and 180 days. So this means between three and six months when, you know, shareholders cannot uh, sell their shares immediately. Now, uh, the, the, the sense behind is actually to avoid a big uh, volatility because you know there's uh, some uh, on the one side the shareholders and the founders and you know long-time employees that maybe you know want to cash out a bit on their stock and stock options um, while you know underwriting banks and you know long-time investors you know they want to be sure that you know the the founders the long-term shareholders are staying committed to the company and you know uh, this is uh, always a balance between those two and you know once uh, the lockup period is over and people start, start to selling it's uh, usually a bad sign that you know the shareholders uh, don't have uh, not really the vision uh, or the the belief that in the short term at least uh, the stock goes higher you know we have seen cases like beyond me they they just uh, astronomically high valuations uh, after the IPO and uh, then we saw also uber that also got uh, 25 or 28 percent uh, down uh, in value since the ipo in both cases you know investors might say you know get panicked say hey i want to cash in on this very high valuation i want to cash out uh, on the very uh, downwards uh, trend of this company and the stocks so it's it's interesting to understand both uh, sides of the deal and let's uh, jump into two actual uh, examples and this will be beyond me and uber so beyond meat actually you know this week and couple of days ago announced uh, the period uh, was over and the stock went down 20 percent and you know some people uh, saw this as an opportunity to go in into the stock and some people saw you know this is the beginning of the end because you know the the, the stock just had the huge huge upward potential and huge increase in valuation if this was all realistic and you know uh, uh, fundamentally definitely uh, nothing to do uh, with some elements of fundamental analysis of stocks because you know they are making a couple of hundred million uh, revenue and valued a couple of billion dollars on the market so you have to have a very uh, huge imagination this company you know uh, will make a lot and tons of money and uh, continue this growth strategy now uh, you know also we have to consider the following that you know currently the liquid Liquidity in the market is not that big so you see like you know after Tesla numbers after Twitter numbers stocks can go up 20% 20% down in Twitter Twitter uh, cases right so what will be very interesting in this story is uh, after a couple of days and weeks how many of these insiders are really selling you know and this is then you can build up an um, opinion and say okay you know actually it was not such a bad sell uh, off so you know the people are still convinced about this short, long term uh, successful story and um, uh, staying inside and maybe this is a good sign to invest in this company beyond me they're definitely not a company for me though and that's why let's move to uber so uber is a very interesting uh, play here because 
course, you know, they lost already so much in, uh, in uh, stock value, 28% since IPO this year. And this is, you know, for a company like Uber, you know, it's very, very hard for the CEO to go against it, you know, because the market looking for this uh, straight path to profitability, of course, and, you know, uh, Uber try to negotiate or, or to, to steer against this uh, value loss in their company by, you know, going uh, to cut costs, uh, cut stuff and so on, you know, introduce new products like Uber Finance or Uber Money. And, uh, you know, interesting though, it will be the sixth of November because then the lockup period for the shareholder will end. This will be exactly two days after its earnings report. So this will be very, very interesting and maybe a lot of volatility in the stock. So not only maybe the earnings will disappoint, but also uh, shareholders will try to get out of the stock. So maybe there will be really, really big turmoil direction down for Uber. We shall see. I'm, I'm, I will not try trade uh, Uber. I'm not invested in Uber, so I will uh, be on the sidelines and watch this. And what? Uh, while I'm watching this, you should subscribe and smash that like button for the algorithm. Uh, this uh, channel is educating you every single day and breaking news on finance, stock market and good investment ideas. So make sure to stay tuned and watch all the other videos that I have on my channel. See you tomorrow because I'm vlogging every single day. Oh,